you said earlier that you don't think that neuroscientists, I don't know if you said, I mean, these weren't your words, but that they haven't cracked consciousness or that they have, they just haven't made a lot of progress on it. So what, maybe I'll let you elaborate I would say they on haven't that cracked it. Right. I mean, there's plenty of progress in the sense of really laying out the field. Like it could be this, it could be this, it could be this. It's a terrifically fascinating area and really the one most central to our lives. Um, so uh, I'm in no way denigrating the pursuit, but we haven't cracked it. We don't know the answer to it. And of course, the way we would know it is if we could actually build something that were conscious. The difficulty there, of course, is we don't know when we've built it. If we've just built a good, you know, a statistical parrot like ChatGPT that says, yes, I am conscious and it's not. But in any case, uh, we, we don't have any theoretical reason, any equations we can walk through and say, oh, yeah, oh, I get it. That should That is what consciousness is. We're totally stuck at the beginning, I would say. Well, maybe to get a, a landscape, so to speak, on the table, are you open to non-physical theories of consciousness? Are you open to theories like dualism or panpsychism or just theories that there's a God and we have souls and that's how we're conscious? Or are you more of a materialist, uh, very scientifically oriented when it comes to these questions? I am very scientifically oriented, but what that means is having a broad table so that you can accept hypotheses. There's no point in ruling out hypotheses prematurely. So I would never say I'm a materialist or I'm a panpsychist or so on because what I am is a scientist trying to understand this question. And so um, it actually drives me crazy when people in science take strong sides on things that they can't possibly know for sure is the right side. Now, I'm all for the advocacy system. And that's how we structure our legal system here in the U.S., where you have someone playing prosecutor, someone playing defender, and that's really useful because this person tries as hard as he can to prosecute, this person tries as hard as he can to figure out ways to defend the criminal and so on. But um, in science, I don't, I don't know if that's as useful to pretend certainty when you just don't have it. So when it comes to a big open question like consciousness, my interest is to deeply understand all the different hypotheses and figure out, obviously the game for all this is, okay, what experiment could you do that would at least divide these hypotheses? You know, even if it's not the complete answer, to at least put these guys off the table and put maybe some new guys on the table that we hadn't even thought of yet, that sort of thing. Okay, well, well, given this, are there any theories that at this point or hypotheses that you find most promising for explaining what consciousness is? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so, but I do gravitate personally to, um, to those theories that could be tested and built. So let's call this the materialist camp generally. I'm not saying I am a materialist, but I'm most interested in seeing if we can rule those in or out first. Why? Because we can do something about that. We can actually say, okay, look, let's say it is just a bunch of pieces and parts organized in the right way, running the right algorithms. Well, that gives us a, a handhold where we can say, great, we should be able to replicate this then and do it and figure it out. So I happen to be personally attracted to those because there is something to be done, as opposed to whole classes of other theories, which might be right, not, not criticizing them, but there's sort of less that I can do about it. Um, so at minimum, if I devote my life towards the physical theories, I can at least hope to rule something in or out. 